We live in a time of unprecedented chaos. Wars rage, economies crumble, fear grips the hearts of millions. But what if I told you there's more to this story than meets the eye? What if these events are not random but orchestrated? What if a hidden war is being waged for the very soul of humanity? The truth, as I've discovered, is far stranger than fiction. We are locked in a spiritual war, a battle for our minds, our hearts and our very essence. The enemy is not flesh and blood, but ancient, malevolent entities known as Archons. Their weapons are fear, division and suffering. Their goal? To keep humanity trapped in a perpetual state of fear and subservience. This may sound like the stuff of fantasy, but I assure you, it is all too real. The evidence is all around us, hidden in plain sight. Once you learn to see the world through the lens of this spiritual war, the pieces of the puzzle fall into place. Join me, dear reader, as we journey down the rabbit hole and expose the truth about the Archons and their insidious agenda. The battle lines are drawn, not on physical maps, but in the very fabric of our being. This is a war for our consciousness, a war for our souls. We are not merely physical beings, but spiritual beings having a human experience. And it is on this spiritual plane that the true war is being fought. Look around you, the signs are everywhere. Endless wars fueled by manufactured conflict, economic systems designed to enslave us in debt, media narratives that bombard us with fear and division. This is not by accident. These are the tactics of the Archons designed to keep us trapped in a state of low vibration, easy to manipulate and control. Think back to the world wars, the rise of totalitarian regimes, the constant threat of terrorism. These are not isolated incidents, but symptoms of a deeper malaise a spiritual sickness that has infected our planet for millennia. The Archons thrive on chaos, on negativity, on the suffering of humanity. They feed off our fear, our anger and our despair. But there is hope, we are not powerless in the face of this enemy. By understanding the nature of the spiritual war, we can begin to fight back. We must confront the uncomfortable truth. Humanity is not in control of its own destiny. A hidden hand guides global events, a network of powerful individuals and organizations working tirelessly to advance a sinister agenda. They are the puppets, and the Archons are the puppet masters. These individuals, often referred to as the elite or the globalists, operate in the shadows, manipulating financial systems, controlling media narratives, and infiltrating governments. They are driven by greed, lust for power, and a chilling disregard for human life. Through organizations like the World Economic Forum and the United Nations, they push their agenda of global governance, a world order where individual liberty is crushed beneath the boot of tyranny. They seek to control every aspect of our lives, from the food we eat to the thoughts we think. But their power is not absolute. They are merely pawns in a much larger game, manipulated by forces beyond their comprehension. The true enemy is far more ancient, far more insidious. They are the Archons, non-physical entities that exist in a realm beyond our normal perception. They are parasitic in nature, feeding off the negative energy generated by human suffering. The Archons are not inherently evil, but they are driven by a primal hunger, a relentless need to consume. They are drawn to negativity like moths to a flame. The more fear, anger and despair we generate, the stronger they become. They have plagued humanity since the dawn of time, whispering lies into the ears of kings and queens, inciting wars and famines, and driving us to the brink of self-destruction. They are the architects of our suffering, the puppet masters behind the puppet masters. But their reign of terror is coming to an end. The time has come to expose these parasites for what they are and break free from their control. The Archons have a weakness. They cannot create their own energy. They rely on us, on humanity, to generate the negative emotions that sustain them. And of all the negative emotions, fear is their most potent fuel. Rudolf Steiner, the Austrian philosopher and esotericist, warned of these entities, describing them as forces which never incarnate, but which seek to work upon men, to influence them to thoughts and deeds which serve not the progress of evolution, but its retardation. He understood that fear was the key to their power, stating that fear is literally eaten by these beings. Think about the constant barrage of fear-mongering we are subjected to, the threat of terrorism, the fear of economic collapse, the fear of disease and pandemics. 
These are not just random events, they are carefully crafted tools designed to keep us in a perpetual state of fear, feeding the Archons and weakening our own spiritual resilience. By conquering our own fear, we can starve these parasites of their sustenance. When we choose courage over fear, love over hate and hope over despair, we weaken the Archon's grip on our world. Fear. It's a powerful emotion. It can keep us safe from danger. But it can also be used against us. There are those in power who understand the power of fear. They use it to control us, to keep us in line. They bombard us with messages of fear, through the media, through our institutions. This fear keeps us from questioning authority. It keeps us from demanding better. It keeps us small and afraid. We become consumers, not citizens. We become followers, not leaders. But we don't have to live in fear. We can choose to see through the illusion. We can choose to reclaim our power. We can choose love over fear. It's time to wake up to the truth. The global elite thrives on division. They pit us against each other using fear as the weapon. They highlight our differences, race, religion, political beliefs. They tell us that the other is the enemy. This division serves their purpose. A divided society is a controllable society. When we are busy fighting each other, we are not fighting for our own liberation. We are not challenging the status quo. We are playing right into their hands. It's time to see through this manipulation. We are not each other's enemies. We are all children of the same universe, sharing this planet together. We must unite, not divide. We must stand together, not apart. The first step to freedom is recognizing the game. The game is rigged. The system is designed to keep us trapped in fear and division. Once we see this truth, we can start to break free. This awakening can be painful, it can be disorienting, but it is also liberating. It allows us to see the world with new eyes. It allows us to step outside the matrix. We begin to question everything, we begin to see the world differently. We start to notice the inconsistencies, the lies, the manipulations. The truth is, we are powerful beyond measure. We have the power to change ourselves. We have the power to change the world. But we have forgotten our own strength. We have been conditioned to believe that we are powerless. We have been taught to doubt ourselves, to shrink back, to play small. This is a lie. We are not powerless. We are powerful creators. We have the power to manifest our own reality. We have the power to create a world based on love not fear. So how do we reclaim our power? How do we break free from the grip of fear? It starts with self-awareness. It starts with looking inward. Practices like yoga and meditation can help. These practices allow us to connect with our true selves. They help us to quiet the noise of the world and listen to the wisdom within. Through these practices, we can begin to reprogram our minds. We can begin to override the fear-based programming. We can begin to live from a place of love, peace and power. You're not here to simply exist. You are here to thrive. You are here to shine your light brightly. You are here to make a difference in the world. Don't let fear hold you back any longer. It's time to step into your power. It's time to reclaim your birthright. You are worthy of love joy and abundance. The world needs your light. The world needs your courage. The world needs your unique gifts and talents. Embarking on a journey towards enlightenment and transcending fear can be challenging, but you don't have to do it alone. Susan Hill, a renowned spiritual guide and mentor, can provide invaluable support on your path to reclaiming your power and living a life free from fear. To schedule a session and begin your transformation, visit mysticcosmos.love. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. Take the first step towards liberation today.